It's real normal cars. Chris and I'm back with another one. So there's a lot been going on for the past week. I haven't been doing it day by day because we had to get some estimates on some things. And also there's just some things you need to learn as you're doing these, how the, uh, the fix and flips. There's some things you just don't know how to do. And I try to do my best to learn, but I need to learn from my mistakes also. So as far as the floor leveling goes, we're going to have the professionals do it. It's also, this is starting right now. Um, we're gonna have them put down the floor. We're gonna fix the bathroom floor. And we're going to fix the drywall in the basement. And there's a few other things, but let's just go inside so I can show you guys what's going on. Same video, another day. So, as you guys can see, they got the flooring down and See, sometimes, a lot of times with the, with the rehab and everything, we at, least, we at least try to do it first, and if it doesn't work, then we co contact a professional to do it. We did do everything right, but the thing that we did wrong was we had the wrong size plywood. This is 5 eighths, so we had two half inches, and then this, they have a female to male set up where one piece goes into another piece and then it lays down. So that's pretty much what happened, but they got that done. They got the floor, it's nice and level. You're gonna have to put a little bit of stuff around here. But we also have the backsplash out, as you guys can see. Because we had to switch the backsplash, honestly, because it kind of threw off everything. Because we had to kind of, we were trying to make everything off the backsplash. And we might as well just get rid of the backsplash and do it how we really want to do it. And they also took out the top cabinets. So that's done. They're gonna take the vanity out. Then, well, this island out. And just so you guys know, the painter and the handyman are working simultaneously, so they're kind of working around each other. As you guys can see, they got some of the paint that they're doing up there, fixing some of the stuff that was wrong. They have some of the rooms painted though, so let's let you guys see that. I don't know which light is which. So it's nice and clean in here with the paint. So this paint is done. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but always trust the process. Keep it, the thoughts that you have in your head, because wait till the carpet get in here. When the carpet get in here, it's gonna be a whole different scene. Um, they also took out the flooring in this bathroom here. So they took out this flooring. We got some new flooring. I think you guys are gonna like that as well. So we got the new flooring in here. We're gonna put the new flooring in here. I think we're also gonna paint this, end up painting this grout white so it can make it pop out a little bit more, and possibly paint the sink. Then we have the master bedroom that's been painted also. I definitely need to paint these closet doors though. You know something? I was just thinking, I just made this up in my head. What if we paint the closet doors the same color as the door, that wall downstairs? I don't know, we might switch it up. Maybe white, maybe, we don't know. We haven't decided yet, but that's pretty much what's going on. And they're supposed to be here in a few minutes, so they're gonna come in. They, I'm trying to get the handyman to come in in the morning, and then the painters to come in at night because sometimes they get in each other's way. And I know I like everybody to have their own like kind of vibe because some people may work a little quieter than others, and then it's it's just I don't know. It's kind of hard. You kind of kind of manage it a little bit, but you guys want to make sure you stay tuned to everything that's going on. I'm not making these videos very long because I want to give you short and sweet. I don't want to give you the whole process and everything. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, for anyone that's looking to buy or sell any property, you can always email me at romeshousereviews at gmail.com. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's Real Tyrone, and I'm gone.